Hello, welcome. I had a client email me in about five questions and I thought I get these questions a lot from different clients and I'm going to go ahead and address them. The first question, my client has an S corporation and she also works from home. She has a home office. She's purchasing a home security system for her home office and she wants to know, can I write that off? And so, yeah, I love this question and always ask, always ask, right? We want to get very creative on the way we write things off. And so I tell my client the answer to that is yes, but, and here's my but, it's a percentage of it, right? So if your entire home is a thousand square feet and the home office is a hundred square feet, that is a 10% business use. And so if the security system costs $2,000, we get to write off 200 of those dollars for the home office use or the portion that's being used for business for the security system. Now, don't forget about the monthly bill for the security system. We can also write off a portion of that. The second question is, along those same lines, in my home office, what if I put a really expensive treadmill or one of those really nifty bikes? Can I write that off? That's a clear no. You can't write that off because that's a clearly defined business use and it's not for anything to do with the business. Here's how you can say a yes, though. If you've ever been to our office at Financial Accounting Services, in the back we have a gym. We've built this entire gym for our team of 15, and our team of 15 can work out whenever they want. In fact, at lunch, a lot of times, I'll develop out a workout plan and they come join me back there. So if I bought the treadmill for the work gym and all my team members are a part of that, that is something I can write off. But if you're a solo operator and it's just for your benefit, the answer is no. Third question is, I'm purchasing a new car. Can I write this off for business? Now I'm going to get some financial advice. I would never recommend purchasing a car just because you want a new car. If you have a car that works and is running great, financially it makes sense to pay off that car. And if that car payment's $500, start investing that into your IRA or we can help you set up a 401k plan here. It shouldn't be used to purchase a new car. I, 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 it saddens me to see so many people have car debt and that monthly payment. So I would say I would never recommend a client to spend a dollar to save 30 cents to the IRS. I'd rather them pocket that 70 cents. But if you need a new car for your business, and again, I strongly recommend buying a couple years old with a few miles on it, um, let someone else take that loss up front, and then you can purchase a great car for sometimes $15,000 off. And um, yes, you can write that car off for business. If it's 100% business, we can write off the whole entire car. Usually cars work where we can take a percentage each year. So if it's a $30,000 car, we can take $18,000 or so the first year, and then $5,000 the next year, and so on. If the car is over 6,000 pounds, sometimes if you're using it 100% for business, we can take the whole entire car purchase in one year. It's really important though, no matter what we're doing with your business car, to keep a mileage log. Because much, much like a home office, I can only take the business portion of it. So if you drove 10,000 miles for the year and 7,000 of those miles were for business, I can take 70% of the car purchase, the gas, the auto insurance, the DMV fees, the repairs. Uh, you have to keep a mileage log if you're doing actual expenses or mileage. So either way, make sure you're keeping that mileage log. We really love the app Mile IQ. You can download that. That is a business deduction. It's about 60 bucks a year. Swipe to the left if it's personal. You swipe to the right if it's a business uh, miles. And then you put in the memo what you did. You met Christy for lunch to talk about selling a house. So that is it for the car miles. Um, also, my client has an S corporation and she's on payroll. She's taking fair and reasonable compensation. She sat down with us and made sure that we determine that, what that is for her. On top of that, she has built up a profit over the last couple of years. She's been successful and um, she wants to know if she can just take that money out of the corporate account and pay herself a bonus. That answer is yes, on an S corporation, you most certainly can. We don't recommend running that through payroll um, because that would cost her about 18% more. We recommend just taking that straight out of her corporate account and calling it a profit distribution or owner's draw. You're just simply taking the profits. And so that is totally doesn't change your tax return for the year. 
Her last and final question is, she's looking at purchasing a home and she wants to pull out $30,000 next year from the corporate account and um, put a down payment on a home. My answer to that is fantastic. That works just like taking profits out of the company. It's the exact same thing. And so on an S corporation, whatever your net income is, that's what you pay taxes on, whether you touch it or not. And so let's pretend like you made 200,000 and you have $25,000 of write-offs. So your net is 175,000. That is your taxable amount in the calendar year. You'll see that on your tax return, 175,000, and that's what you're paying taxes on. Now, many business owners, good financial advice is that you're not going to take the profit out of the company. You're going to save it up in there. We call that savings retained earnings. That's a fancy accounting term. And that savings in there is for business development, business growth, maybe picking up another business that's going out of business. It's a lot of business. Um, to get it for pennies on the dollar, it is important to keep some retained earnings in the business. We don't want to live off of every dollar we make. Um, but throughout the years, if that's built up, you can certainly take a profit distribution from that. Again, we call that an owner's draw, and that doesn't change your taxable, your taxability. You're going to claim taxes on what you made and earned that year, not prior year profits. You've already paid taxes on those. Anyway, that's it. Nicole signing off. I appreciate your guys' time. Goodbye.